Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you the real performance difference between USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. USB 2.0 was released in the year 2000, but USB 2.0 is still the most commonly used interface. USB 3.0 was released in 2008. There's so much marketing going on with USB 3.0, even now at the time of this video. But the question is, do you really benefit from USB 3.0 ports on your computer? Before I go ahead and show you the results, I'd like to answer some very frequently asked questions. Is it possible to plug in, let's say, a USB 3.0 flash drive into an USB 2.0 port? The answer is yes, of course, but the USB 3.0 flash drive will only be able to transfer at the maximum bandwidth that the USB 2.0 allows. So the USB 3.0 flash drive will transfer at the USB 2.0 speeds. Now the second question is, is it possible to plug in a USB 2.0 flash drive into a USB 3.0 port? Yes, of course, but because the device, in this case the flash drive, only allows transfer rates at the USB 2.0 speeds, you will not benefit at all from the USB 3.0 bandwidth. But it doesn't matter if it's USB 1.1, USB 2.0 or USB 3.0, the physical port is the same. It's the bandwidth that makes the difference. So let's see if USB 3.0 is worth it. I'll be using an USB 3.0 and in USB 2.0 flash drive to compare. There we go. As you saw yourself, there's a massive difference. So this has proven that USB 3.0 definitely is a lot faster than 2.0. So if speed is what you need, you have to get USB 3.0. There's not that much of a price difference when comparing USB 3.0 and 2.0 flash drives. But it's really depending on the product, manufacturer and country you are in. Therefore the price can differ. And this is it, I really hope this quick video could help you out. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.